Contentious industrial relations reforms will pass into law when Parliament resumes this week after a late-night deal secured support for the bill. The government is claiming a major victory, while industry groups warn last-minute amendments aren't enough to protect small business. An early Christmas gift for the Prime Minister. Today is a huge day for working people. Support sealed for the government's industrial relations laws. People waiting 10 years for their wages to get moving have waited long enough. Late night discussions with independent David Pocock securing the final vote to give the government the numbers it needs to pass the bill in the Senate. It's now a very different bill to what was introduced a month ago. The final bill comes with additional provisions for small business. Those with up to 20 employees will be excluded from multi-employer bargaining, up from the original 15. While for those with up to 50 staff, unions will have to convince the Fair Work Commission that firms should be included in single interest deals. There will be some businesses that don't want to be part of multi-employer bargaining. The way that they avoid it is by making sure they bargain with their own staff on single enterprise bargaining. And even with the uh, amendments that are being proposed, it simply cannot be made uh, workable. It is going to be a really rough Christmas for so many employers out there. I understand not everyone's going to be happy. Other commitments to strike the deal include establishing a committee to review social security payments. It would report every year before the federal budget to identify payments that are failing to keep pace with inflation. There'll be a greater level of transparency and accountability by having that independent advice. It is a historic commitment. With its workplace reforms all but sewn up, the government now turns its attention in the final sitting week of 2022 to other bills with self-imposed Christmas deadlines, including legislation for a national anti-corruption commission and for territory rights. Also under consideration, a possible censure motion against former Prime Minister Scott Morrison in the wake of the Virginia Bell report into his multiple ministries scandal. The parliament is likely to want to express a view on that. But action on rising energy prices may not come until after Parliament rises. Certainly we'll be having further discussions uh, this week. Stop talking. The issue is supply. Get more supply into the market. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.